What a way to start out the week looking from our Devil's Lake location at Home of Economy there across Highway 2 to the south. And you can see, well, the waters there on Devil's Lake. The heat is on, folks. We have south winds and we do have some conditions outside that are mighty sizzling and a few things going on in our area that we are watching for you because there may be a chance for a shower or thunder shower heading into the evening. Another review of the uh, air quality index and uh, not that the numbers mean so much, but where you see the orange colors here, that's unhealthy for some out there. So a reminder, we still have some smoke and it still is impacting our surface air, but a lot of this haziness that we're seeing across the skies caused by the depth of the atmosphere. Some of this smoke is making its way in the mid and upper atmosphere at, in central Canada and drifting its way down towards us, causing the stunning sunsets that we have seen you share photos of 89 now after we hit that 90 degree mark in Fargo Moorhead. It's 88 at Moorhead's airport winds gusting out of the south tonight. 88 in Cooperstown Thief River 84. A lot of 84s up north, including 87 in Grand Forks and 80 two in Cavalier down to the south sizzling at 89 in Sisseton Elbow Lake 84 Lakes Country low to mid 80s Otter Tail County a pinch warmer as so we take a look at the satellite and radar right now not a lot showing up on that radar and nothing's firing as of yet the air over is fairly dry but you can watch on the visible satellite air here the lower atmosphere having those winds from the south. By the way, these clouds drifting the other direction in the mid levels of the atmosphere. That's a little bit of what we call wind shear. But that aside, in the heat of the day, we're seeing a couple of those popping cumulus clouds out there. Our model says here in the Southern Valley, including Fargo, Moorhead, Lakes Country and Southeast North Dakota, there'll be a shot at a renegade thunder shower tonight. Nothing severe temperatures slipping back through the 80s as we head towards bedtime. Overnight percolating showers may be a rumble of thunder in the same location. Northwest Minnesota in the east central North Dakota. Then as we head through the day, look at this. A repeat performance quickly. Temperatures rise into the near 80 degree range for your lunch hour. Notice this north wind shift tomorrow. Something curious taking place. A cool front sliding its way southward, keeping temperatures up north closer to 80, still near 90 or better here in the Southern Valley and along the boundary where we have this convergence, we'll see some thunderstorms popping up, some of them with locally heavy rain. So more abundant showers and thunder showers in the forecast, but not necessarily widespread. 63 in Fargo in the morning, ramp it up through the mid 80s into the low 90s for your afternoon. Winds will be southerly here in Fargo until later in the day. We'll see a wind shift and we will have a chance for some late afternoon and evening thunder showers tomorrow. Kelly, thank you so much for this gorgeous red sun. Like we talked about those particulates in the atmosphere really doing a number on the colors we see with our eyes. 73 on a cooler Wednesday. It looks breezy. We start warming things up late week back to near 90 by Friday. Not ruling out a thunder shower here or there. Maybe a little bit better chance as we go through your weekend, but still hot. Now, Memorial Day looking great. 84 degrees. That's fairly comfortable. Perfect to get out and enjoy some outdoors. And then we look into the remainder of next week and temperatures still 75 to 85 degrees. I can't believe our cool off is one day in the 70s. That's our that's our that's our chill in the air. Right. I've heard whisper a few people wishing for don't cooler. say it. Don't well, say, say it. it. <laughs> Thanks, Hutch. You bet. Today is the last day of Minnesota's legislative session. Lawmakers are striking up a last-minute deal. We'll tell you about it next.